Hi, and welcome to our blind listening test. Behind this screen are four amplifiers. There are two boutique amplifiers, a Morgan AC20 and a Three Monkeys Grease Monkey. In addition, there are two other amplifiers that we perhaps wouldn't call boutique, mostly because they're not anywhere near as expensive. And one by one, four people are gonna come here, play, listen, feel, switch between the amps, and draw their conclusions. They're gonna try and guess which is which. I don't know what the other two amps are, and I don't know in which order they are. So there are four amps, we're gonna switch through them. A, B, C, D, and have a listen. Let's see what we find out. The difference in the feel and playing was that the two on the end, A and D, seemed to me to be the most generic sounding. They could have been any half decent, relatively small wattage amp, like a Blues Junior or an AC15CC or something like that. Um, the two uh, B and C seem to have a little bit more going for them in terms of when I played them and in terms of when I heard other people playing them. That's kind of how I'd have it. I was very surprised that uh, sonically, so sound wise, when I was listening to them with other people playing them, the differences were much smaller than actually playing the amps myself. So I perceived a much bigger difference when, when I had the guitar on, so that the feel, the feel of the amps to me was much more different than the sound of the amps. The difference that I felt in playing the amplifiers was that uh, some appeared to be noticeably smaller, smaller output, um, driving a bit harder, um, right the way through to amps that felt more bigger, more presence, more in your face, higher wattage amps. That's how I felt. I think the key thing for me was the way they all compressed uh, and also the mid, the mid quality to the sound because they all differed quite a bit in that territory, I think. I can say categorically that my favourite was C. My favourite was probably C. It seemed to have more, a little bit more of everything. It seemed to have a really in inherent tone I liked. I liked to listen to it. I liked the response it gave me when I played it, so it seemed to have, it seemed to be the biggest, not the loudest. It seemed to be the, the one that yeah sort of said something to me. Very close for me um, to choose a favourite out of those four amps. They all did different things, or I felt that they could all do different things. But certainly, I think that probably amp C was more to my preference. I think amp B was my favourite because it was sweetest in the top end and the mids were just about right, not too much, not too little, just sounded good to me. I think the two amps were B and D and I think B is the Morgan and I think D is the Two Monkeys. My pseudo-educated guess would be that B and C were the boutique amps and that A and D were Nice quality, generic, um, high street uh, guitar shop amps. Um, very, very hard to distinguish. Um, I think my own thoughts were that amp A was probably the AC20, the Morgan AC20, and amp D possibly was the Three Monkeys, but extremely difficult to tell. Every time somebody played something different, they sounded different. But that would be what I'd say. I reckon amp A, and amp B. Uh, again, it came down to the mids for me and also the dynamic responsiveness as well. Uh, although amp C and D were very close runners as well, it was extremely difficult to tell. C is an amp I recognise because I've used so many of them and I think it's some kind of Fender hot rod. Uh, I recognise that sound, it's very much my sound which is why it's my favourite, so I think C is a Fender hot rod. A, I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, it had a, it had more compression in its sound. It, it was my least favourite actually, my least favourite of, of all the amps. Um, I don't think it's a digital modelling amp. Uh, so I actually don't know what it is. I've got no idea. My stab at what they might be, the uh, A and D, are. As I was listening to them, I was thinking Blues Junior or Deluxe, maybe Blues Junior more than Deluxe, possibly Little Vox AC15CC, something like that, maybe uh, one of the nice laneys that they're doing now, but they didn't sound bad, they all sounded great. 
If I had to hazard a guess, I thought Amp B was um, quite bright, focused, small, up to 30 watt amplifier, possibly a Fender. It sounded Fender to me. Um, whether it was, I don't know. Um, as regards to the other one, it sounded like there was a Marshall Orange in there. It could have quite easily been a Soldano, you know. I, but you know, that's 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 how it felt. Uh, I thought Amp C was very MIDI, which led me to believe it was a bit Marshally, some sort of British lineage. Uh, while Amp D uh, was quite low in the mids, so I thought it might be Fendery. Okay, so as you've heard, all four of us have played the amps and we've given our initial thoughts. Now, I still don't know in which order the amps are and I don't know what the other two amps are. Uh, for the benefit of those of you watching at this point, uh, this is amp A. This is amp B. This is amp C. And this is Amp D. So, who was right and who was wrong? Let's find out. Please turn around and see whether your choices are correct or not. And go! Yes! Um, I'm pleased that... Hang on. Yes, I'm pleased that my, f well, I'm slightly surprised. Am I surprised? I'm pleased and surprised. I got three right and I got one wrong. Which one was wrong? Um, there's a Line 6 DT25 there and I think I said it might have been a PV Classic 30. Please turn around and see whether your choices are correct or not. <sighs> Blind. So, what do you think? Oh, crikey. Uh, all I will say, in my defence, is that the Fender Hot Rod DeVille Deluxe yes. is my favourite amp that isn't, um, isn't a boutique amp. I love them. Mm -hmm. You can always turn up and use one of those. Fantastic. I'm very pleased for Fender that that, that was my favourite. I'm slightly shocked about the um, Three Monkeys because I had that in my head as the one that I'd chosen. I buy a thing of deduction really more than anything else because it sounded big. Um, what were the other two again? The Morgan, which actually was my second choice today, I was hoping would be my favourite because that's the one I loved when we did the initial test last week. But very interesting, very interesting. What do you think of the Line 6 DT25? Well, it sounded absolutely, none of the amps sounded rubbish. When, when, when everybody was playing them, they sounded great. I mean, they all sounded great, especially you know, Mick, such a great player that he makes anything sound great. I don't mean that interrogatorily to any, any amp, but um, it sounded fine. It sounded absolutely fine. I've used one on stage and it's fine. Um, but it's great to know that you can turn up anywhere and if they've got a Hot Rod Deluxe, you're going to be all right. Just turn around and have a look and see whether you were right or wrong. Thank you. Wow, very, no, right for one. Well, very intriguing. Um, I was uh, right for the monkey. Yeah, not right on uh, um, much else. Can I, can I just have another quick yeah, look to remind myself? Yeah, okay. Um, in actual fact, I got the fender completely wrong. And a line six. Yeah, very surprising, very surprising. Yeah, yeah, very intriguing. Very interesting how different they sounded to me than what they actually now perceive to be. Please have a look and see how close you were with your choices. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, can't believe that one. Wasn't wasn't expecting that one. Uh, the uh, line six, mm -hmm. and that is A. I placed A as my second favourite. 
So I wasn't calling that one at all. What do you think? What do you think that says about line six? The modelling is pretty good. <laughs> Um, my, my final thoughts of what I said in the beginning, which is the feel difference on the end of the guitar was so much manifestly more different than the sound difference. And it makes me play differently. That's, that's what I find most interesting. Amp C, which was my favourite, made me play the way I enjoy playing. And it, and it seemed to bring uh, me as a player out more than the other amps. My suspicion is that the other guys probably didn't hear a great deal of sonic difference. Uh, not, not like not chalk and cheese sonic difference between the other amps. What I thought was it was far easier to make a preference to what I would use by sound than it was to determine the specifics of the amp or whatever. I thought it was just much easier to say, hey, I liked amp C and I liked the close second and that's what I would have gone for. If I'd have seen them, maybe I, I would have had a different decision just but certainly it was much easier to make a preference than it was to actually decide what the amps were. I think it was a lot easier to come up with a personal preference which led you to believe which amp was which. And also it was very different when you heard one amp in comparison with another one. For example, I thought Amp C sounded really good on its own, but then compared with something else later on, it didn't sound quite as good to me. The one overriding revelation today was that all the amps sounded exactly like the person that was playing them. I know Mick Taylor's playing so well that when I heard him playing all four amps, all I heard was Mick Taylor. I didn't hear what it was going through. And I'm sure Mick would say the same about me.